Revolutionary Green. Hockey played as your Coming at you today. Got a very, very, very important topic that I'm about to touch on real quick. Um, sick and tired of it. So I'm going to just go ahead and get to the point. Shout out to um, the MXGM, Malcolm X Grassroots, who first brought this topic to the forefront. And it seems like many people still don't get the picture or are not paying attention amongst our people in New Africa communities, black communities. Um, every 36 hours, a New African black in America is murdered by a law enforcement agency um, in a judicial, actually over extrajudicial crime. And what that mean is, you got these agencies of the United States government, um, law enforcement agencies, straight out here attacking our people and killing our people down like animals. So um, this video was about the violent truth of the attack on New African people and New African people community, black people community worldwide across America, which is going on right now and I'm going to run through a couple of incidents to tell you what I'm talking about and show you what I'm talking about because there's a lot of us people of our people sitting back and don't realize that we're being attacked and, and, and killed and sniped off one by one and, and what's really even more crazy about this attack that's going on on our people that it, it's happening on our younger people from like the ages, I'm gonna go as young as 13, and I'm gonna go as young as nine years old to like 22 and 24 are being killed by what we deem as racist European Americans. Some of these cases are so outrageous that I can't even actually believe that, well, I can believe, but a lot of you Negroes can't believe, probably don't believe it, but. These people are, are re-transforming it and reinventing it and are bringing back the attacks, the racial attacks, and are continuing to attack racialized attacks on our people, man. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to what's going around, man. Protect your kids, man. And even you gotta protect your adults these days because these people are all on a mission and are attacking and killing our people at will. And it's getting ridiculous, man. We need to arm up and protect our people, man. What's going on with all y'all people out there? Like, these cases are ridiculous, man. And, and I'm going to prove it to you right now. In the first case, and this just happened a couple of days ago. And I want to say, let me, before I start this, I want to give thanks to the ancestors and the, the Orishas and the Ori, my enemy, to bring you this information. I say, first of all, rest in peace to this teenage, young adult, female sister, Renisha McBride. Now, this 19-year-old sister in Dearborn, Michigan, she wrecked her car. And when she wrecked her car, she wrecked her car in a neighborhood that she wasn't familiar with. And this neighborhood, by the chance, and, and that's the thing about it, the chance that this neighborhood was 90% European-American neighborhood, white neighborhood. Um, so the accident she had must have so bad that she had to get out her car because her cell phone battery went dead. So she went door to door in this neighborhood looking for help, knocking on doors, trying to receive some help from some so-called patriotic civilians who claim they're patriotic. This is the country we so-called live in. And she knocked on one of these doors. The person in this residence opened the door. Remind you. This poor little sister was just trying to find some help, man. She just got, she just had, had an accident. This cat pulls out a shotgun. 
blows her head off, man. Shoots her. Then asks her what she wants. Open the door. Shot her with a shotgun. Straight to the head. And this man was arrested and released. And you don't find nothing wrong with that? So I'm gonna need justice for, uh, I'm gonna need justice for this poor sister now. Renisha McBride, 19 year old sister in Dearborn, Michigan. Murdered. And the only reason that I can possibly see why she was murdered, because she was black in an American, in a European American neighborhood, man. Murdered. For trying to receive help. Trying to find help. Murdered. Cold blooded. She's no longer with us. Sick people, man. And and what's so odd about this case is the police don't want to release the identity of the shooter. Cause uh, I got some research. I did some research on Dearborn neighborhood, and um, I'm, I'm also finding out that this neighborhood possibly has an Arab ethnic group in this neighborhood as well. And it's possibly between, uh, it has to be possibly between a European American and a, a European Arab. You see what I'm saying? And they don't want to release this information because they know our people are going to stand up. We're going to stand up with God. We don't care who shot this sister. But it seems to be the same pattern anyway. So we're already expecting what the pattern is going to be that it's going to be what's been going on the last three years, every 36 hours. Our people getting shot down by a racist. So I want to say rest in peace to Renisha McBride, and I send my condolences to her family, and, and we demand justice for this sister right now. Like this is ridiculous. How you? This reminds me of the Trayvon Martin case. They didn't want to arrest that weirdo, and look what we had to do just to get arrest for that weirdo. Now, it seems like this case is a, a repeat of that one. Like, we're going to have to get some justice and force these people to arrest this man. I don't care if he's black or whatever color he is, but 9 out of 10, I already know he's European or Arab. And he shot the sister down because the sister was black. Um, I'm going to move on to the next case. I'm just giving you examples of, uh, of the attack on New African people, man. Because many of you people might not even heard of these cases, so I'm going to just go ahead and put it out there. We got the young teen, Chavis Carter, in Arkansas. Now, they want you to believe that this kid, let me remind you, this kid was an honor roll student, a graduate. He just graduated from high school or college. One, of, I'm not really sure, but he, he just graduated. And um, this poor kid, I don't know even know what they arrested this kid for. That's the crazy part about it. And, and I've been doing my research. Excuse me. And um, I really don't even know what they arrested this poor kid for. And um, he was arrested, handcuffed, put in the back of the police pig cruiser. Let me remind you, the kid hands were in handcuffs behind his back in the back of the police cruiser. So they want you to believe that this kid somehow got a hold of a weapon, a police firearm, got the weapon. Uh, remember, right, his hands handcuffed. The whole time, his hands is handcuffed. They want you to believe that this poor kid got a hold of a weapon, grabbed the weapon, and shot himself. Remember, right, he got shot in the head, point blank range in the head, headshot killed him. So they want you to believe that. He got his hands loose and shot himself with the pistol. Well, he didn't even get his hands loose. They're trying to say he shot himself while his hands were handcuffed. They're trying to insult your intelligence. They're trying to insult this, they're trying to insult this poor kid's family intelligence, man. They're insulting my intelligence. To say that this kid shot himself while his hands were handcuffed in the back of a pig cruiser. Murder. I charge these police pigs with murder. They murdered this kid. Set up the crime scene, made it like he shot himself. And these poor and these people 
having been charged with this kid's crime. And the case is closed saying the kid shot himself. So I want to say rest in peace to Chavis Carter. May the ancestors will see your spirit. And, and, and I pray that the reaches seek justice for this poor kid. Because this kid was killed, murdered by the police pig enforcement agency. Second case. Third case. Jonathan Furl. Rest in peace to Jonathan Furl of North Carolina. Football player. F.A. Uh, if I'm not mistake, mistaken, he played at F.A.M.U. College. Was home in North Carolina where he resides and his family resides. Jonathan Furl. Poor kid had another case of an accident. Poor kid had an accident, man. And you know, if you ever been in an accident, especially especially if you sustain an injury to the head or something, the accident period is drama and, and traumatizing, man. So you're not going to be in your right mind state after an accident. Because I've been in an accident, and I wasn't in my right stage when I hit my head, and I was in another world. So this poor kid got out of the car seeking help. In, in some neighborhood, I don't know what neighborhood he was in. So 9 out of 10, it probably was a white, all white neighborhood also. Knocks on the door. And the people in the house didn't open the door. They called the police. So this kid ran off. Ran, going back to his, the scene of the accident to get back to his car after not receiving no help from these so-called patriotic citizens that we have in America who are supposed to be so patriotic and so loved and caring uh, uh, for American citizens. And as you can see in these cases, they're not due to skin color. This poor kid runs back to his car, and as the police approach the scene, these police get out the car, and this racist pig gets out the car and open fire on this poor kid and shoots this kid ten times. Murdered this kid in cold blood. He's running up to the police for help, asking them for help. I need help. I'm in an accident. And they gun this poor kid down. And this police officer was acquitted, wasn't charged, and acquitted of this kid's murder. So I charged this pig agency in North Carolina with murder and demand justice for Jonathan Farrell. And man, it's it's crazy out here, man. Being being new African and black, it's crazy out here in America, man. And and what's so crazy? Some of you patriotic Negroes had a nerve to say just because we have a black president that we living in a post-racial America. Yeah, right. Um, fourth case, Kendrick Johnson. Poor kid. Can't get no justice for this kid, man. Poor kid was beat brutally. And when I mean beat brutally, this man was beat brutally by some monsters, man. Man, face. You couldn't even recognize this poor kid's face, man. I, I feel sorry for this kid's mother to have to even look at her child when she's seen her child, the way this poor child was beaten. He was beaten so bad that it looked like Emmett Till's beaten, man. They beat him so bad at school, in the gym. Whoever beat this poor kid, they put his body up in a gym mat, rolled him up in a gym mat, and left the poor kid to die. And this racist sheriff office in Georgia deemed the, his, mur his death as accidental. They tried to say this poor kid slipped up and fell in the gym mat and killed himself. And that's how he got all the bruises and so forth. And, and man, that is insulting our uh, human common sense intelligence, man. This poor kid was beaten to death. Go on the internet and Google Kendrick Johnson's case and look at the pictures of this poor kid. And try to tell me that this kid killed himself. He tripped up in the gym mat, gym mat and killed himself, man. Man, I charged the Georgia P Sheriff Law Enforcement Agency with murder. And, and, and I charged the people who murdered this poor kid with murder. Cause you all are responsible for this kid's murder. That's why I charged all of you with murder. And it was racial. I don't care what nobody said. The poor kid was beat to death, and it was a racial act, man. 
and it was racial because the sheriff's office don't want to do nothing about it, and they don't want to bring the killers to justice because they're all part of a big agenda. And I'm going to get to that in a second, and you're going to know what I'm talking about. Um, another case, fifth case that I came across, this poor kid called Cody Ingham in Athens, Texas. Um, this kid was dating a European American. From what I researched and know about the kid, he was a good kid or whatever. And I mean, it's your choice on whoever you want to date or whatever. But, um, this poor kid was found, hung, hanging by a rope on a tree in this girl's front yard. And they're trying to say, they don't know what happened to this kid. They're trying to say this kid committed suicide. But let me remind you, this kid's hands was tied behind his back, rope around his neck, and hung from the tree, hanging from the tree in his girlfriend's front yard, man. So you trying to tell me that this cat has the ability to kill himself, hang himself from a rope, and tie his hands behind his back. So what are you trying to say this kid pulled a magic trick? That's impossible, man. Like, this kid was murdered. I don't know who murdered this kid, but evidently it's a racial crime because he was hanging from a rope. And we know the symbology of rope hanging when it's done to a black kid or a black person, period. So this kid was murdered, and we demand justice for this kid. This kid was hanging from a rope, man. We demand justice. This kid was murdered by a racist human being, man. Whoever it is, they didn't like that this kid was dating a white girl. And they killed this kid. And there was another case in New Jersey where they found another kid hanging from a rope, hanging from a tree in New Jersey. And that's ironic because we never hear about hangings in New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? We only hear about hangings in the South. We know what hangings mean to the South. And for a teenage kid to be found in New Jersey up north hanging from a tree, lets you know that the attack is real, man. It's going all across America. The attack on black people is real. Um, another case, Jordan Davis. In this case, is still pending. Um, poor kid was at the store with his friends, chilling, listening to their music. Music was loud. You know how we get down. We like the, we like our music turned up. You know what I'm saying? And this racist European American comes out of nowhere, opens fire on the car. Kills this poor kid, Jordan Davis, on sight. Murdered him. Cold-blooded. For his music, man. Told him to turn the music down and then turn the music down. So he, he took the law into his own hands and murdered this poor kid. Why? Because this cat was a racist, disease cracker, man. That's what he was. And then he releases a statement from jail saying that he shot this kid to prove a point to thugs and said that he wanted to teach the thugs a lesson that I killed this kid to change our ways, to change for black teenagers to change their ways from being thugs, man. So he criminalized this kid, like most of all these cases I'm telling you about, they were criminalized, de demonized, and because we're black, man. And so these racist people feel like they have to kill you. They want to kill you because they know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I want to say rest in peace to Jordan Davis, man. And may the ancestors receive your transition well, man. And we want justice for Jordan Davis now. Because this poor kid was murdered by a racist. And, and that's that. Um, another case, Marlon Brown of Florida. Whatever he was doing, I don't know the particulars of this case, but this poor kid Man, grown man, this was a grown man, excuse me, he wasn't a kid. It was a grown man, he was 20-something. Uh, he might have been 30-something. I can't really remember right now. Um, something happened in the traffic, a traffic incident. He can't get out of the car, he runs. Um, I'll run from the pigs. Like I tell all my people, get it. if you feel uncomfortable around a pig, get the hell away from that pig, man. Because these pigs are clipping our people off at will. So I don't even fought this cat for running. 
Like, I'll run from the pigs. Get the hell away from them pigs, man, because them pigs will kill you. And this poor kid, this poor man was ran down by this police officer in his police cruiser. And you can go YouTube the video. It's on YouTube right now. Marlon Brown ran over by the police in a, in a police cruiser. He ran his kid straight down like an animal, man. I had to turn my head on the video. Ran him straight down with the police cruiser, man, like an animal, like he wasn't nothing. He had no work or nothing. And this police officer hasn't been charged yet. Still walking around free. I demand justice for Marlon Brown right now. And may he rest in peace in his family. I send my condolences to the family of Marlon Brown. Rest in peace. And you will get justice one day. Um, I got one more case that I want to talk about. And this is even more disturbing. Darius Simmons of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 13-year-old poor kid. Poor kid, man. Poor kid was just dumping his trash, man. And you got a 75-year-old racist pig comes outside, feel like he was violated, felt like somebody had broken his house because somebody had broke into his house and stole something out of his house. And so the first black kid or the first black person he sees, he takes his racist hatred out on. You can YouTube this video right now. The 75 years pulls out a the 75 year old man pulls out a pistol and shoots this poor 13 year old kid down in cold blood on camera. And it's on camera. Murdered him in cold blood in front of his mother. Poor mother, man. Poor mother sitting there witnessing her poor 13 year old kid gunned down by a racist redneck, man. What are we gonna do, man? They, they shooting, they, they killing our kids, man. They killing our babies. What are we gonna do, man? We gonna keep, we gonna sit back and keep on letting this happen? No, man. We gotta stand up, man. We gotta put up a front. We gotta set up a liberation front now, man. We gotta, we gotta set up some units to protect our, 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 our kids and protect our people, man. Cause it's getting out of hand. And it's open season on our people right now. And our people are not getting the point, man. We're just sitting back letting these people shoot and murder our people. And especially it's getting out of way cause they're murdering our kids at will. How many people are gonna continue letting, letting get killed like this, man? How many Trayvon Martin's gonna get killed, man? How many, uh, uh, um, um, Bernica boys, man, who want to get killed by un, 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 un off duty cops and pigs who kill our people, man. It's an open attack. It's an open attack on our people, man. And, and I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this to this point right here, or uh, that's even more um outlandish about these cases is that a lot of these cases the organs are being found missing. Like with the Kendrick Johnson case, this poor kid's body was stripped of his organs, and his organs was missing. And a lot of these cases, they're finding all across the United States of America, even across seas, they're finding black kids uh, and black people murdered, and organs are being found missing in their body. He just found the actor, a person who was supposed to be an actor. He was trying to go to Hollywood and pursue his acting career. They found this this male, this black male's body in an Arizona desert, stripped of his um, organs. No organs in the body. And, and, and this brings me to my point that you need to do information on organ harvesting. Go on YouTube, Google it. It's called organ harvesting and the organ trade, where Jewish Europeans are murdering black people at will and stripping their body of their organs and selling their body I mean selling their organs on the organ market to people who need these organs and not our ten our Europeans that need these organs that are um and Europeans across the world, European Jews, whatever European, I don't care what it is, even Arabs are doing this trade or are stripping black people bodies or their organs and selling their um, organs on the organ market for millions of dollars of cash crop money and, and uh, helping to sustain European lives, man. Like, the European is dying, man. Like, a lot of you people don't realize it, that their race is dying off, man. And they are out here killing our people, stealing their organs, 
and using their organs to sustain their life on earth. And this is a known fact. Now go research this. Organ harvesting, organ stealing by Jewish Europeans, man. Because they're Europeans. They're not no real Jews. They're Europeans, man. The Israel State. Look at the Israel State, man. They are fascist. Um, they are fascist European people, man. And, and they're out here killing our people, stealing their organs for organ harvesting, man. To sustain their life on, on, on earth. This is real shit, I'm trying to tell you. Real deal shit, man. And um, it's happening all across the United States, man. Finding bodies of black teens dead, Oregon song. And, and, and what's even more ironic about it, and it's not really too ironic, these European Jews and these racist supremacist Aryan people are getting help from the law enforcement agency with these murders. They are letting these people murder our people and they're not arresting them or seeking justice because it's all one a bit, all part of one big systematic capitalist system that's beneficiary to their well-being financially and physically, man. So it, they're not only attacking, they're not only murdering you for cash, they're murdering you to live, to get your organs. You know what I'm saying? So just be on the lookout, man. Protect your kids and, and, and stay on guard as far as adults to never find yourself in a neighborhood that you don't know where you at or an all-white neighborhood. I don't care what neighborhood you're in. Just be aware at all times of the pigs, neighborhoods that's full of Europeans. And I hate to even say it like this, but a neighborhood when you find yourself in neighborhoods full of Europeans, Man, make sure your battery's charged up in your phone. Make sure you got extra ways of contacting somebody just in case you're in an accident or just in case you're lost or just in case you don't know where you at, period. Always keep your battery and your phone charged is my advice. So you can call your own people to come help you, man. Because these people are preying on our people and they're looking for opportunities to kill you. And America is more racist than ever right now because they're out here killing black kids, killing black adults. Man, they even killed this couple in Cleveland, Ohio. The pigs in Cleveland, Ohio opened up 150 rounds on this black man and his and his and his girlfriend, man. 100 rounds fired on these people, man. Murdered them in cold blood. And nobody has been arrested or brought to justice in this case, man. Nobody. Murdered. So that should give you a prime example of the society that we are still living in. America is still the most racist country on the planet Earth and protect yourself at all times, man. Because every 36 hours, and I'm taking it further than the comrades taking it, every 36 hours, our people are being murdered by law enforcement agencies, racist organizations, racist white supremacist organizations, and white supremacist people, man. And European Jewish people are murdering our people every 36 hours and harvesting their organs in the, in the organ trade. So be aware, man. Mount up. Protect your community. And I want to say rest in peace to all the victims because it was like, right, we're right now we're at the mark where it's like over 400 to 500 people that have been murdered by law enforcement agencies, vigilantes, neighborhood watch races, white supremacist people and just white people, period, man. It's open season on new African people, black people in America, man. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your cell phone charged. If you if you got a weapon, keep a weapon on you. Um, do it legally, though. Keep if you, Go get your gun. Go get your weapon to ride around with. Go get your gun license. Hit the gun range. Practice. Shoot. You know what I mean? Because it's getting real out here. You got to protect your families, black man, black woman. You got to protect your families right now. These people out here trying to kill you and take you out. And I, I'm going to sign off on that note right there, man. Um, every 36 hours, this video has been about the every 36 hours, the violent truth, the violent attack on new African people in America, man. It's going down, man. And rest in peace to Renisha McBride, the latest victim. May you rest in peace and, and may the ancestors accept your spirit which I know they will humbly. Um, 
and condolences to your family, man. Rest in peace. I'm gonna sign off right here. Um, free the land. Rebuild. I'll show you.